guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. I'm Julia Rose, and today I'm going to be sharing my five top tips for doing a spring wardrobe clear out. We have a lot of spare time on our hands at the minute, and maybe sorting out your wardrobe is something you're thinking of doing, and right now could not be a better time going into a new season and being stuck at home. Please feel free to put any comments or questions in the description box. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, I'd love to have you back. And let's get started. My first top tip is to make sure you're in the mood. Not for that. Hello? Do you come here often? But get energized, have some sugar, have some caffeine. And what I like to do is maybe organize like a little drawer, like a makeup drawer or something. Something quicker and easier. And then once I see the results and I just absolutely love it, it really gets me jazzed up to do something bigger, like your wardrobe. So once you're energized, pumped up, and in the mood to organize, make sure you put on something that you love. This is just a little thing, I think, that helps me choose what I actually really do want moving forward. So the whole reason I started this channel is because I felt like my style had changed, and I'm just kind of working towards making that change in my wardrobe. So what I don't need to be holding on is stuff that makes me feel frumpy, that I don't absolutely love, that I just never ever wear. I don't need that stuff in my wardrobe. So if I put on something that I love wearing and that I know will be a staple in my wardrobe, then that kind of really helps me be ruthless with my decision making when it comes to getting rid of things. I don't think you should get rid of things that have sentimental value. I think a wardrobe clear out should be more about getting rid of the things that just don't make you happy, that you know you're not gonna wear again, and making room for things that you absolutely love, that fill you with joy, and make you feel like you're expressing yourself. That's what I think. It has nothing to do with price, but I do think filling your wardrobe with quality is really important because that adds to making you want to wear it, because it, it makes you feel good. My third top tip is to get everything out of your wardrobe. That's right, I mean everything, and get it on your bed. Because mentally, if it's still in the wardrobe, you're like, mm, yeah, maybe that could stay. But if it's out on the bed, then it's out already, and you can be a little bit more ruthless with getting rid of stuff. I love getting rid of stuff. And remember this, if you can sell it on eBay, you can get more money to buy something new. Bingo. One day I'm gonna have one of those walk-in wardrobes that's like, absolutely humongous and I can just have it looking amazing. But right now, this is what we're working with, which is pretty great. I really tried to get all of my stuff down to one rail. I don't think I need more than that. And I'm really, really happy because I know that I absolutely adore every piece in this wardrobe. I did a big clear out recently, but I think I could probably find a few more things that I could get rid of. I hang my belts up on a hanger. This is a really good way because I can just see all my belts and see what I have and it doesn't take up that much room. Okay you guys, I have a completely empty wardrobe and it feels pretty good. There were a few things that I was taking out just then and I completely forgot I had them, which is another great reason to do this exercise. It's kind of like reshopping your wardrobe. I love it. Well, my next step is to have three different areas. One, the things that I absolutely love and are definitely going back in the wardrobe. My second area is things that I really don't like anymore and I can put those in a pile and they can go on eBay or the charity shop, whatever. See you later. My third pile is my maybe pile. I need to try it on. I don't want to say goodbye just yet. And the reason that this pile is really interesting is because as you start putting the things in your wardrobe you absolutely love, maybe the things that you're not so sure about, you see that you have something in your wardrobe already that kind of does that job, so you don't need it anyways, and it can go straight in your eBay pile, make you some money. There are two ways to organize your wardrobe as you put things back in. I had it done by color before, which I think is a great way to do it. And then you can also do it by item. So have all your skirts, all your dresses, all your shorts, all your coats, all your shirts, that kind of thing. And then I would color coordinate those in those sections because I love color coordinating things. It just makes me really, really happy. So this time I'm gonna be putting things back in by item. And something else to think about is, okay, we're going into spring and summer, so maybe I don't need my coats 
right in the easiest access area. I can maybe shove them, my coat section to the back and then when I do this again in the winter, I can bring them to my easy access section here. Just a little something to think about because I'm wild like that. One top tip for when you're putting things back in your wardrobe is if you're right-handed, have everything facing to the left. This is because if you're right-handed, you're gonna be flicking things through like this. If you're left-handed, turn around like that because you'll be flicking like this. It's these things, you guys. You heard it here first. You actually might not have, you might have heard this before. Whatever. Another really good pile to have is, if you need one, is like an ironing and to-do pile because if there's something in your wardrobe that needs a button fixed or really needs ironing, then it's best to get that out and get it done, like now, and then put it back in your wardrobe because then you're more likely to wear it ever. Otherwise, it's just gonna stay like that forever and ever and ever. You're never gonna wear it again because you're never gonna fix that button. And when I say you, I mean me. I do this kind of stuff all the time. I have an ironing pile over there. It's been there for a long time. <sighs> Phase one is complete. So I put everything back and I've done it into items. So I've got my tops here, dresses, skirts, shorts, Trousers, jackets and blazers, coats. Now I need to do jeans. Okay, then I've got loungewear, most important, uh, day shorts, and jeans. I cannot recommend these slimline velvet hangers enough. They make it so that everything just, you get as max amount of stuff in because of the slimline, which is great and nothing falls off because of the velvet. I'll link these below. These are amazing. You can get them on Amazon and they're so, so good if you're doing a big wardrobe clear out. But I can also see if I have two of anything so I can get rid of one, but also I can see what I absolutely don't need in my wardrobe. I don't need any more white shirts. I'm obsessed with them, I love them, but I don't need any of them. So maybe I'll lay off that for a little while, doubtful. I don't need any more denim outfits. I've got a few of those, I can lay off that. I know I'm like really drawn to them and I'll probably see one on a website and be like, ooh, it's so cute, but I don't need it. Julia, don't buy it. I can see my blazer collection is getting quite healthy. I'm quite happy about that actually, love a blazer. And when I do finally get that absolutely enormous walk-in wardrobe that I've always dreamed about, I'll have all my woolly jumpers up so that I can see them. But for now, oh, zip thingies. And then I can just store that below all this stuff. Uh, I just like to keep them safe away so they don't get nibbled. Make sure you're in the mood. Get yourself some caffeine, some sugar, and tidy a little drawer. Wear something that you absolutely love and inspires you to keep going with your personal style, and if that's because you wanna change it, great. If not, fab. Take everything, everything out and put it on your bed or wherever, and then decide what you're gonna put back in. Make three piles. One, stuff that you absolutely love and know you wanna keep, a maybe pile, We'll see, try it on, see what I have already, and I definitely, no, eBay, charity shop, Goodwill, whatever. Make sure when you put it back in, it's super organized. Decide if you wanna do it all color coordinated or if you wanna do it by item, but still color coordinate because we know how to have fun, am I right? And that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you back. Let me know how you get on with your wardrobe organizing. We have a lot of time on our hands inside this house. So it feels so good. It might stop you from buying that thing that you really, really don't need, or it might give you some space 
to really add stuff to your wardrobe that you absolutely adore and there's nothing wrong with that. Make sure it's high quality or good enough quality that it's going to last and last and last. Make sure you open your wardrobe and you absolutely love everything in there, that things go together and your wardrobe tells a story. Check out my Instagram because I'm always posting stuff on there. Have fun organizing and I'll see you soon.